Hello, welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanted to share how I achieve my goals, especially my New Year's goals, and also what my New Year's goals are for this channel and for just keeping up with my simple living lifestyle. This year is kind of special because we are starting a new decade and something I did a little different this year than I normally do is I did a 10 year review and there is a blog post, not mine, but a blog post that I will link below that goes into detail about how to do this 10 year review and I just love doing this. It really showed me how much I've accomplished in the last 10 years and showed me that setting goals really does help you to accomplish a lot more than you would if you never set any goals at all. First of all, I would like to share that I've made a goals printable for you and a daily planner page and I just made those for any of you that would be interested. I have the link in my description box below. You can sign up and print these for free. It's just a place to jot down your goals the statistics say that you are 42% more likely to achieve your goals by writing them down. And I have found this to be so true. So last year I jotted down some goals in my planner and I broke those goals down into monthly and weekly actionable steps that I could take. And then by the end of the year, I had actually achieved quite a few of my goals. One of my major goals was to move closer to my parents. And honestly, I wrote that down. I talked about it in my Instagram stories. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I will link that below as well. But I just shared it with everyone. I kept thinking about it, researching it trying to see if it could be done, and then I broke it down into actionable steps, finding homes that we could afford, going up, looking up how we could afford it, how we could make it work, and then just making it happen. And honestly, I feel like if I hadn't written it down, shared it with everyone, and broken it down into those actionable steps, it just would not have happened. It would have just been a pipe dream. So that is how I achieve my goals. I write them down and then I just break them down into the easiest steps to take. So let me give you an example of decluttering since this is a decluttering and minimalist type channel. So what I do and what I have done in the past is when I want to declutter something, yes, I too get very overwhelmed sometimes. And what I will do is I will just write in my planner exactly what I intend to declutter that day. It could just be one drawer. And I will write junk drawer in the kitchen, go through it. And if I can just take that one step, even though it's really small, I've noticed over time it all adds up. So I don't suggest going and trying to declutter your whole entire home in one weekend or one day. Personally, I get overwhelmed with that, but by breaking it down, by the end of the year, you would have decluttered your entire home. Each year, I personally like to start with one of these little book planners. This planner especially broke it down even more at the beginning of each month. It has the to-dos that you would like to do and your goals, and I really like that. I looked for one of those, and this was $10, so they're pretty inexpensive. This just helps keep me really, really organized, and again, reminds me of each goal that I have for the day. I personally like to have about three to four goals, five tops for a day because I feel like with normal life being a stay at home mom with all the stuff that I have to do with the kids and the house that there's already a lot on my plate. So if I'm trying to do a lot of my own personal goals as well, it can become overwhelming if I make a list of 20 plus goals. So I try to keep it to about three you know, to five tops and that's one way that I've really been able to accomplish a lot. Then I also keep a larger calendar for our family. I just jot down big things that we have to do for school. I usually keep this in the kitchen so everyone can access it anytime they want and they can see exactly what we have going on. So I always get one of these and the nice thing about this one, I found it at Costco, is you can just flip each um, month completely over so I'm not having to re-tape it, it just hangs off this hook. So. I like to make things as convenient and easy as possible. I've written about how I achieve all my goals in detail on my blog, so I will link that post down in the description box. So in case you're interested, I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve this year, and the biggest one being I would like this whole year to be a low spend or no spend year. So my idea is to really focus mostly on 
decor and clothing and just any kind of extra things we would normally buy. I'm going to try really, really hard to live with everything we already have for a year just to see if we can save some more money. And I don't really want to be bringing a ton of stuff into our house because I really want to try to live with less. I find the less junk and clutter we have in our house, the easier it is to take care of. I will try to document this journey and I will probably do at least one video a month on how we did with this no spend year by breaking it down into each month. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in low spend, no spend months and a whole year. Hopefully in the process we will save money, but honestly this is more about not wanting to bring clutter into our home. So I still want to have a lot of fun experiences. We're still going to be buying food. If we want we will still go out to dinner. It's more about stuff rather than experiences and having fun. So we will still be spending money on that type of stuff, but trying not to spend money on clothes and things. My other big goal for this year and this channel is just to help people get decluttered and get organized and I will make a lot of videos on that and I'd also like to help more people in real life so you can always get a hold of me on my Instagram through a private message and I would like to help more people so I'm going to reach out to family and friends and see if they need any help decluttering because it's one of my favorite things to do and if I can help somebody then it's a win-win situation. I've been helping my parents and I've actually helped a friend in the past. She said that my friend Rachel, I can link the video below, but she said she might need some more help decluttering some other areas. So I'm just going to reach out to more people in real life and see if I can help them declutter and get organized as well as videos on this channel. Another goal I have set for myself is to read at least one or two books per month. Currently I'm reading Cozy Minimalist Home. So far I really really like it. So as soon as I am done reading this I will do a video on how I use the information in this book and what I think about it. Each month I will try to announce what book I'm going to read so we could all read together and I will do that over on my Instagram. So you can follow me over there, I'll link it down below. My last goal that I will probably share on this channel is just more home improvements. We've slowed down on the home improvements right now because this house is completely livable so everything that we're doing from this point on is somewhat cosmetic. A more personal goal is to work out more and finally I would like to try some new recipes. If I try any good ones I will be sharing that on my vlog channel which I will link below as well. And then of course just to create more videos for you guys all about minimalism and decluttering and on the vlog channel to create some fun entertaining videos. And I wish all of you a happy new year and let me know in the comments whatever goals you might have. If you're interested in following along with my goals and following along with our no spend year, please hit the subscribe button and join me for that journey. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.